Let's multiply some even larger numbers. Example 1. 234 times 25. So a three-digit number times a two-digit number. Again, let's line it up like this. Now we have two numbers on the bottom, but we start the same way we did before. We'll start with the 5 on the bottom and multiply it by each digit on the top, from right to left. So 5 times 4 is 20. We'll put the 0 here and carry the 2. Mark it up here to remind ourselves. Next, 5 times 3 equals 15. But we remember our extra 2, so 15 plus 2 is 17. We mark the 7 down here, and we carry the 1 to the 100 spot. Next, 5 times 2 equals 10. And we remember our extra 1. 10 plus 1 is 11, and we mark the 11 down here. So, we're done dealing with the 5. Our final answer so far is 1170. Next, we deal with the 2. But we note that this isn't just a 2. It's in the 10 spot. So really, we're talking about a 20. And the easiest way to deal with the fact that this is a 20 is to put the 0 down here. And then we just treat it as a 2 after that, as the 0 just multiplies an extra 10 for us. So, we're ready to do it again, this time with the 2. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 is 6. Nothing to carry in this case. 2 times 2 is 4. And again, there's nothing to carry. At this point, we have two answers. The first line is for 234 times 5. The second line is for 234 times 20. So we have the answer in two parts. So as a final step, we have to add our two parts to get our final answer. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 7 plus 8 equals 15. We put the 5 down and remember our addition. We carry the 1 up here. 1 plus 6 equals 7. And we add our extra 1 is 8. And finally, 1 plus 4 equals 5. So our final answer is 5,850, or 5,850. Let's work through one more. Example 2. 352 times 15. Lining them up. Again, we have two numbers on the bottom. We'll start with the 5. 5 times 2 is 10. We'll put the 0 down here and carry the 1. Next, 5 times 5 is 25. And we remember our extra 1, or 26. So we mark the 6 down here and carry the 2 to the 100 spot. 5 times 3 is 15, and we add our extra 2 for 17. So after dealing with a 5, our answer so far is 1760. Next, let's deal with the 1. But we note that it isn't just a 1. It's in the 10 spot, so really it's a 10. 
And again, the easiest way to deal with that is to put a zero down here. And then we'll treat everything as a one. The zero will multiply the extra 10 for us. Now, we're ready to do this again with the one. Now we could go through each one in our regular steps, or we could remember that one times anything is just itself. And just write down 352 right here. Effectively, we're recognizing that 10 times 352 is 3520. When we multiply by 10, we just add a zero to the end. So this line makes sense. At this point, again, we have two answers. The first line is for 352 times 5. The second line is for 352 times 10. As a final step, we'll add our two parts to get our final answer. 0 plus 0 equals 0. 6 plus 2 equals 8. 7 plus 5 equals 12. So we'll mark down the 2 and carry the 1. And 1 plus 3 is 4. And we add our extra 1, or 5. So our final answer is 5,280, or 5,280.